So hi everybody, welcome back to this SUP Border review. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the Bravo GE BP-1. Now, if that doesn't mean anything to you, it basically means it's a small, compact, 12 volt pump that you can plug into your car and pump any paddleboard up to a maximum pressure of 18 psi. Now we've been using and getting hold of Bravo manual pumps and electric pumps for quite a few years and it's fair to say that definitely they've had some really good pumps in their past, they've had some problems with some of their pumps in their past and they have really made a big improvement on their pumps in the last 12 months and this is one of their newer pumps that we're going to be reviewing. We've also got a review of the GE21.2 coming out in the next few weeks as well. So this is a 12 volt pump that you plug into your car and you have your car running when you want to inflate your board. The good thing about this is you never run out of battery power. You can pump infinite amount of boards up and this is actually quite a powerful pump as well. So it has a maximum PSI pressure. It can pump in its 18 PSI. It's quite a lightweight pump at 1.94 kilograms or 4.28 pounds. And this pump retails at about 130 euros to 150 euros online. It is an inflate only pump, so you cannot deflate with this pump. You do get a nice carry bag with this. You get a hard wearing heavy duty pump hose, which Bravo have always been supplying with all of their pumps, to be honest. In the middle section, you get several different types of different fittings. You can obviously plug it into other inflatable watercraft or other things. When it comes to plugging the pump onto a 12 volt source, you've got two options here. You can either plug it straight into your cigarette 12 volt power adapter inside the car, or you can use the crocodile style clips to plug straight onto the battery, but then you still use this adapter to plug into the 12 volt power adapter. Now this pump can be used on 24 volt as well. So if you are maybe a truck driver or you've got a bus or a bigger van that has 24 volt, you can use that pump as well. The other thing this pump has is an automatic cutoff that you can change to whatever level PSI pressure you want to put into your board. Obviously that's fantastic for when you're getting changed in the car park, you can plug your board in, you can pump the board up, set at whatever level you want, 12, 15, 18 PSI, and then you can get cut off when it's ready and you can be ready to get on the water. Now when it comes to how we tested this pump, now we have been testing this pump for several months because we wanted to make sure it was really working well before we reported back any information on this video. So we've used it for lots of different board sizes but to give you an idea and for this review we used it on a 270 litre board and that is a 10.6 board by 31 by about six inches thick and that's probably the average size board that most of you out there have got. Now to pump that board up to 15 psi it took seven minutes and 50 seconds which is actually quite quick. Now compared to some other pumps and other brands that we've got and we've been testing as well this pump actually pumps them up quicker than any other brand of pump electric pump that we've tested so far so you're getting a large amount of air in your board quite quickly with this relatively small pump. The really big things I like with this pump is it's really quite small and compact and quite light and I do like the fact that there isn't a battery to worry about because when you have battery pumps involved any battery pump you're going to have to make sure you look after your battery you've got to make sure it's fully charged all the time giving your battery the best lifespan and then giving you the most amount of boards you can pump up with that with this you haven't got to worry about that you just have got to take it obviously you have to have your car but it's important thing to note is you must have your car running at the time because you will soon drain your 12 volt battery pretty quick also thinking about the sound levels, we did a decibel meter on this pump and it wasn't too noisy, it comes at about 82 decibels. It is a little bit noisier than some other pumps on the market, but it's not actually that bad. And you can pump it and inflate it with it in the bag. There's a little side nozzle there you can unclip. You can clip your nozzle in and that does make the pumping a little bit quieter. Now obviously if you're gonna be pumping up lots of boards or it's a really hot day, you're gonna make sure that the air can get to the pump so it doesn't get too hot. Another plus for this pump compared to other comparable pumps on the market is it does go to a relatively high PSI pressure. So 18 PSI is a lot of pressure to get a little pump like this to push the air into the board. Most of the comparable brands will do up to 15, 16 PSI at the most. So 18 PSI, you're getting a large amount of pressure in your boards with this pump. The way Scott Club Bravo have installed the bag and the leads coming through the bags, it means that you can keep your leads all nicely tucked in the bags, not getting all sort of tangled in a mess. You can easily plug it into the car or into the battery on the front of under your bonnet of the car and have all the pump nice and tidy without it getting 
all tangled up all over the car park. You can easily clip the hose into the side here so it's all neat and tidy again. It's just a really simple thing but it does make a difference to when you're pumping your board up and the speed to get your pump all connected up so you can get your air on your board and get you paddling as fast as possible because that is what it's really all about. The negatives, there isn't any pressure indicator on the pump, so you don't know what pressure it's at until it cuts off automatically. So you don't know how long you've got to get your wetsuit on apart from feeling your board and guessing how much pressure is in the board. So it'd be nice if there was a pressure indicator on that pump, but obviously we understand that would put the price point up. I guess really the only negative to this is you are gonna to have to have your car running because you are gonna have your car running for seven, eight minutes to get the pressure into your board. And yes, it's noisy and smelly and it's not great for the environment, but it's probably the only way to get this little pump to get the amount of power to pump your board up to the current pressure. So if you're thinking of this pump might be right for you, definitely check it out on the Scoprika Bravo website. There's also various sellers all around on the internet. I hope you found this review interesting and informative. If you've used this newer pump, please let us know your feedback and thoughts. Always really important to hear your thoughts on these new pumps. And we'll see you on another Sup Border video real soon.